All right, so we're back on pet catchers because as promised this weekend that just passed, I am going to be making a somewhat of a tips and tricks video today, or I guess more along the lines of things that you just may have not known. Now, I guess let's go ahead and get a disclaimer out of the way here. Obviously, if you have been playing this game and you are end game, chances are a lot of the things in this video you probably are aware of. So it's more catered to the new players. Although I will say there's probably one thing in this video that some of you end game players are not aware of because I myself just found out about this literally a couple of hours ago and you definitely want to get your hands on this. Now the first thing I'm going to show you guys is something that I get commented constantly. If you look over the last three videos that I've done on this game there is at least five or ten of these comments and that is Carbon how do I access the stats page that you're constantly showing. I don't know exactly how this works for mobile or even for console if this is available on console I don't even know that but in the case of PC you go over here to where it says extra then you click on options scroll all the way to the bottom to the debug section and you're going to see stats once you enable this it will go ahead and bring up this menu on the bottom left hand side which kind of gives you an overview of your current session time all of your multipliers the damage output that you're doing but at the very top here you'll notice that it says player stats and it lets you click on this if you click on it it will give you an even more in-depth look on everything about your account power-ups earned as well as every single one of them in detail power-ups used treats earned as well as how many of them you've gone ahead and used it's super in-depth and i know a lot of you have been asking for it i've replied to a couple of you guys but just to kind of end the question asking i figured we'd start the video off with that now for those of you that are end game players and obviously some of the new players as well if you're already to the last area i'm not going to make you guys sit through the entire video just so that that way you can figure out what that one thing is that i mentioned at the start of the video but as i'm sure many of you already know spread out throughout the entire world there is secret areas that you can go ahead and access like for instance you Using Frosty Peak over here as an example, we all know that there is a button back here that you press, which then goes ahead and spawns this ladder right here. Climb to the top and there will be a beautiful chest waiting for you right here with a bunch of goodies inside that are going to be extremely useful in the end game. Now, I know for a fact there is a handful of you out there that probably made a couple of bad decisions with the stuff that you were given throughout your entire playtime because I know myself, I did a bunch of terrible things with the cherries that were given to me at first. But what if I told you that there is actually another room in the final area that not only a lot of people are not talking about, but it also has some really good rewards that when you actually do make it here, could be extremely useful so go ahead and kind of follow along with me here because i'm going to show you guys where this room is specifically if you make your way over to the black market area which again if you're new in the game it is extremely simple i probably should have shown you but down there there's a sign that says not secret if you go ahead and jump off to that island down there there's a button press the button it will go ahead and unlock this entire obby right here climb the obby which i just fell down and you will make it to the black market area it's actually super annoying to do that with a jetpack on so i'm just going to teleport back up there but anyways once you're here on the left hand side of the black market there is a crystal go ahead and kind of jump in this corner right here just trying to kind of get on the ledge of the mountain i should probably take the jetpack off makes it a lot easier i can jump higher perfect so once you've made it onto the crystal jump on top of the roof of the black market then go ahead and use this edge of the mountain to sort of like propel yourself up and then just keep jumping just like how i did right there and you will finally make it to the top of this mountain right here where there is a volcano one thing that you'll notice is that this volcano has a ladder right here jump down and you will be inside of a room that will have a chest here in the middle that gives you five of the golden cherries as well as a couple of other goodies i don't exactly remember right now because i was extremely surprised shout out to i believe his name is matthias he's the one that actually shared this location with me once he kind of posted it in the discord and I reached out to him I got the details and I thought this was super cool because even with all the hours that I have in this game I didn't know this existed now there is another thing in here which is this super creepy doll I have no idea what it does uh, I don't really think it even does anything but it's mad creepy and it's kind of just sitting back there but yeah man who's to say that there isn't more secret rooms in this insanely massive map so if you happen to find any more and you want to share it with the community let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and do a follow-up video with all of the locations all right so moving on to the next thing I'm my list here it is the mini games as many of you know this is probably one of the best ways of being able to get your hands on not only legendaries but also a great way on getting your hands on some of these elite mystery eggs of course gems money and if you're extremely lucky like how i've been lately using the method that i'm about to 
show you guys, you can really come up on a lot of golden cherries. Now, no questions asked. The dance mini game is actually a lot better. It gives you better rewards. It's just uh, you have to do a lot more effort in order to actually complete that game. And there is a chance that you might just get really distracted and end up completely losing. The archaeologist mini game is a little bit different because you can kind of finesse it. So let's go ahead and jump into a game here. And I'm going to explain to you guys what I mean. Based off of the damage that you do to each one of these, it'll kind of tell you what the reward is going to be. For example, I'm going to click to dig here. This one is 24, which means that if it starts off at 24, this is going to be a guaranteed epic. So it can either be a purple cube or a luck potion. I'm going to go ahead and kind of end this off here so you guys can see. See, it's going to end up being a purple cube. Now, the next one is going to be 14. That means that this is a guaranteed rare. It's going to be terrible loot, not really all that great. Move on. Next one is going to be 19. This will also be pretty much terrible loot because it's going to be a guaranteed rare. I took a lot of time there trying to explain it, but moral is anything under 19 health is going to be pretty much trash loot. 24 and higher will go ahead and give you epic legendaries as well as secret so if it's a 24 then that means it's an epic if it's a 29 that means it's a legendary and if it's a 32 then you got yourself a secret the reason why this is really important is because you can skip the ones that are not worth your time whatsoever so let's kind of give you an example here i'm going to go ahead and click on this one this is a 14 so it's going to be completely trash over here we got a 24 that's going to be an epic so let's go ahead and completely dig this one out Next one is going to be 24 again. So that's another epic. All right. Next one on the list is 24. We got ourselves another epic. There it is right there. Epic. Next one is going to be 24. Once the timer gets to around 22, maybe 21 seconds, then you start getting multiple right there. So 14, useless. 14, useless. 19, uh, that's going to be a rare, but not really something that I care about. 24, that's an epic. And then final one over here is 14. So we're going back to the 24 because I'd rather have the epic. So it's pretty useful. Obviously, you got to get extremely lucky still, but it's a good way of kind of like picking out the ones that you really do want. I also just realized I forgot to turn on my audio this entire time. I'm going to jump in one more time to see if I'm able to get a legendary to show you guys. I actually completely forgot. Oh, look right there 34 this is going to be a guaranteed secret to start off with a secret it's kind of insane but here it is we're gonna get ourselves a secret there it is right there cherry next one common over here we got ourselves an epic which honestly i don't really care about so we're gonna move on that was a purple cube over here uh terrible 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 again we're going for the epic oh we got another spawn what is this gonna be terrible we're going back to the epic over here we got terrible what is this drops over here another terrible drop at least we got one secret i guess oh here's a legendary but you guys obviously won't be able to see it but i'm kind of glad that we got ourselves a secret right at the very start so i could show you guys once it's a high number 32 34 that means that you got yourself a secret so it's a cool little trick that'll definitely help you guys out in the mining mini game the next tip that i have for you guys is a rather quick one but something that i do see a lot of people forgetting make sure that you're planning all of your activities based on the event leaderboard here or i guess the event board every single 30 minutes there is a different event event going on in the case of right now up next is going to be master chef and then after that at 1 30 will be a lucky event so obviously master chef is not really a great one it's basically just a crafting thing so if you really want to make the absolute most out of master chef then i highly suggest that you guys go ahead start crafting whatever it is that you want to do it's going to say 16 minutes and 36 seconds go into your inventory if you have any of these the timeful tomes it's a great time to use it because it will stack on top of the master chef which if you notice master chef is not going on right now but if I open up my crafting menu, look at the timer. It is going insanely fast. And that is because of the tome that I just activated. So mixing those two together is going to give you a big leap, especially if you're making something like 999 coin elixirs, which takes 16 hours. You can probably shave off a couple of hours if you do this. Here's another quick tip since I do get this a lot as well. Some of you that are just starting off the game, especially since we have seen the player base kind of double in numbers pretty much over like the last 24 hours. I see so many of you asking me why 
you do not see legendaries when you're trying to fish? The simple answer to this is because you unfortunately need to have a silver or higher fishing rod in order to be able to catch legendary fish. There's two options. You can go ahead and either complete Old Sailor's Quest until you get the silver fishing rod, or you can go ahead and purchase the fishing bundle, which will instantly give you the silver rod, as well as some seafarer runes and sea elixirs, which will be very, very useful. Now, this one I'm kind of going to throw into the video just because I just had this conversation with one of my subscribers in my private server and honestly i had no plans of including this in the video but make sure that you are absolutely using the teams it's going to make your life a lot easier and you will definitely be able to progress a lot faster if you notice i have four teams right now fish fight mini games and shrines all of these are binded on my action bar at the bottom if you notice over here when i go fishing my multiplier right now is a 1.2 and on the left hand side with everything else it's a 1.45 now if i leave and click on fish it is now a 3.9 times and on the left side it is a 4.15 reason for this is because my fish team is completely filled with nothing but pets with seafarer 3 and higher that is all i have on this team so we got some seafarer threes some seafarer fours as well as even fives same concept goes for pretty much everything else fighting i also have 37,000 damage with all of these pets because they all have deadly switching over to shrines all of these have shrine three or higher, which basically allows me every single time that I activate the shrine to actually get a multiplier and get multiple rewards. I don't know if it's actually going to work for it, but oh, right there, plus two extra. So I got 1.2k gems out of that one shrine and I'll be able to redeem it again in an hour. Over here on the left side, I got one extra drop, which gave me some extra mystery eggs as well as elite mystery egg. Having teams is extremely important and make sure that you guys are using your charms. This is honestly something that I didn't think I needed to explain, but when you get yourself a fresh brand new legendary, it's going to have absolutely no charms. First thing I personally recommend is to go ahead, give it treats, grab your radioactive jelly, dump them until you are able to get a charm, and then go ahead and repeat the process again so you get yourself a second charm. Now, at this point, you can either choose to keep these or you can switch to something like a mystery scroll, feed this to the pet, and it will go ahead and cycle through a bunch of different ones. Now, obviously, in my case, I don't really have a need for this, so I'm not going to continue wasting these because I, I kind of need them for potentially update one. But let's go ahead and assume that you found the two charms that you're looking for, and you've gone ahead and racked up a bunch of runes because you've been maybe hitting the rune shrine a bunch of times. So you can go ahead, grab some of these runes, and put it in so that that way you level up the charm on that pet. On the flip side, if you do have runes and you have absolutely no idea what pet you want to put them on, keep in mind that every single item inside of your inventory, you can click it and see what available options you have. For example, Lifesteal Rune, I can go ahead and click on Use. It will bring up every single pet that I have, which already has Lifesteal or pets that do not have any charms, and I can go ahead and put the Lifesteal in it. Same concept goes for the Golden Cherry. You can go ahead and use it to show you which pet you can put it on and again just another example prismatic scroll you can only use this on pets that have charms level four or higher so here is a perfect example where i could go ahead and use this it'll either turn my looting or my lifesteal to level five again some of these things are a little more on the obvious side for some of us that are end game players but for new players Hopefully this is extremely useful to you guys. If you want to see me maybe do a follow-up video on this, because there is a lot of other things that are in the game, which are really not all that obvious, including some pretty useful methods to taking out the bosses without having too much trouble. Maybe you have a super laggy PC. So if you're interested in the part two, drop a like on this video. Let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel. I've said this before, man, having a lot of fun with pet catchers. I'm excited for update one. We've gotten word that it could be potentially a week or two before we see it. But honestly, there is so much to do in this game that I don't even have a problem with that. This week, our goal is going to be to make this fighting team even stronger. I have pets here that I do not want, like the Cerberus, as well as the Magma Cube. We need to get those out of there. Hey, yo, look, a King Crab. Well, he's gone now. But yeah, man, if you guys want to stick around for that, you are more than welcome to. If not, that is also perfectly fine with me. Either way, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.